do is badger again. We back. Today, we're going to do something a little different. Me and the wifey, we're going to go thrift shopping. We're going to take you along with us. We got a few uh, nice little hunting holes that we already know of. We done found a few things that already. Um, but we might try a couple of new ones. And, uh, you know, I ain't going to gatekeep nothing from y'all. I'm going to show y'all where we're going. Just so in case y'all in the DMV area, y'all can pop out. Because at the end of the day, y'all ain't going to rock it like me anyway. So go ahead and, you know, go ahead and take my spots. It's all good. But yeah, we're going to hop in the whip. We're going to slide down there. We're going to get right. See ya. place called up, Uptown Cheap State, Cheapskate or some shit like that. It's over here in uh, College Park in uh, Baltimore next to the college. <laughs> already found something she likes. It is tough though. A real treat. 15 bucks. 15. This place ain't like a real, real thrift store. It's like a, like a Play-Doh's closet. You know what I'm saying? But we have some nice... Nice stuff. I'm wrong with that. You know when you ain't even got a light to look through nothing because you can see from the outside it's probably going to be trash. That's how I feel about this section right here. But I'm going to look anyway because sometimes, look, you do find some nice stuff. A little L.L. Bean windbreaker. You know, something real slight. That'd be cool for a little comfy, comfy well. Ooh, look, 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 look. Vintage Reebok. Window. Real tough, real tough, real tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. I might have to cut that. I like that. Twenty dollars? Too easy. That's how I just said. No my big box. Yeah, I'm like, wow. Somebody really came and gave them the ABU top, OCP top. Shit, this was in here last time I was here. Nobody still picked it up. That's tough, though. Ooh, not the Toon Squad. T. Okay, okay, okay. I used to be in a jersey. Home, Holmes? I don't even know who this is. But it's a double XL. Oh, um, that shit clean. Okay. No idea. Moonrise Festival, 2017. That's tough. What's that? Oh, we got the lineup on the back. Paint Man in Jersey was here last time too. It took everything in me not to get it, but I already had like eight jerseys in my damn court. <laughs> oh, How the hell did you even do that? I don't know. Dog, I really wish this was my size. Jeff Gordon. Bitch is Jeff Gordon National Guard shirt. I ain't know they had me on a shirt. They need to run me my money. Damn. Ooh, the old Disney Hollywood Studios. Baby, look at this one. You like this? Oh, yeah, I like that one. You want it? Yep. Yeah. She likes it, y'all. Gotta win them. Gotta win them, gotta win them. So we just got up out of there. Came out. They didn't give us no kind of bag. But shit, they gave wifey that for free. She already forgot to scan it, so you know what I'm saying? For the free scan. Hi guys, so we're gonna go walk into red, white, and blue. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> like she said, we at the next spot. Red, white, and blue thrift store. It's uh. It's like a real deal thrift store. It's like a Goodwill, kind of, sort of. But it be busy and here, boy. Last time we pulled up. Tough that little truck. Like I said, y'all, the Holy Grail section. Look at these, man. They got the Orioles, okay. All right, for the 20 piece. Cop. What else they got? They got the Clay Matthews. I seen a West Virginia in here somewhere. Uh, another Flocko already got that. What was that West Virginia I seen? There it go. 
Oh, that's all right. Mountain View. Good, man. That's great. All right with that. 25 for that. We don't get tight end jerseys, so we don't do that. We don't get the tight end jersey. We got another one. Number two, three. I'm gonna have to cop one of these. For a 25 piece? Oh yeah, double XL. A little too big, but I might make it rock. What's this? Oh, the black Orioles. Let's go. Oh yeah, that's the whip for you, baby. I'm just cool little. Bulldogs, we like baseball shirt. Easton, it's got the flap on the back. With the three for the three dollars. Need that. I'm about to lose my mind, dog. They got the Florida State starter jersey. Oh yeah. I found another West Virginia heater. Look at that vintage Nike. Boom. It's double XL for the 20 piece. I need that. I need that. In the cart. Okay. Old school NASCAR. Okay, okay. For the two piece? Me. Oh, oh, sorry. Mm. What is going on? Oh my god. Not with the rocket power wild thornberries. What are you going for that? Six piece, need that. Oh uh, yeah, we back in the whip from red, white, and blue. I couldn't really record in there like that cause boy, it was like a war zone in that bit, boy. But we got a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show y'all everything when we get back to the crib. But I think we might stop by uh, one more little spot uh, that we found on TikTok before we head home. Uh, but no, nah, no, nah, we ran up a little, ran up a little checking that we spent about what 180. Yeah, we spent about 180 in there. Most of the stuff is like real good price, but I was kind of going OD on stuff. Like I got a lot of stuff, dog. My wifey ain't really get that much. She got like a little purse and stuff like that. But hey, I got some photo. Y'all gonna be like, God damn, bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gonna be like, God damn, bitch. Yeah, but yeah, man, I got right. You got the sauce. You got the flavor. Ooh, Big that. like Jada Waiter. I know she had to make a pit stop for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're at the last stop of the day. Unique thrift store. We don't know what it's hitting photo. Um, we ain't never been here. But um, we're going to see what's up. Oh, yeah. We about to go crazy. I'm gonna need that. How much? The hand one the basketball jersey. Come on, dog, for the eight piece. I need that. Jordan never did that move. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> All right, that store was big. It was in there for a little minute. My back hurt, but we don't found a few little things. I think I got like three shirts, three or four shirts. Wife, we got a few things. We're gonna go home and unpack all this. And I'm gonna show y'all what we got. <sighs> Yo, what's good with y'all, man? It is a new day. We in the solo, we back at the crib. Like I said, I had to do this the next day because your boy be tired. But I'm gonna show y'all what we got. Before I do that, though, for the ones that subscribe, I released a short. And I told y'all that I had a new little shoe drop. It ain't nothing crazy. That's why I ain't want to make it its own, like, kind of video. Because I didn't feel like it was that, you know, it wasn't that deep. But I did get a new little pickup for the collection. I did already show y'all the box. Like I said, y'all, it's something slight. Georgetown Sixes. Hey, I think it's a clean shoe. I love this shoe. I picked it up on GOAT. Um... I think for like 195, 200, something like that. Uh, it was a steal if I had to do it. All right, now let's get to the clothes. I think I got them in order from the first store we went to to the last store we went to. 
Starting off with Uptown Cheapskate. First thing I got was this bowling. To me, it's bowling, like a little bowling shirt. A little button up. I think I could do something with it, so I grabbed it. I think this is like $25. Um, and I'm sorry, I'm just throwing stuff over there. Uh, I get all this stuff dry clean before I ever even put it on. So, I don't really care. But second, I remember telling y'all about this one. I know y'all seen that one. Yeah, the Reebok Vintage Windbreaker. I had to cop this one. Uh, I love windbreakers. I do wish it was a little bit bigger because I like mine oversized, but it is what it is. That was it that I got from Uptown Cheapskate this time. I will show y'all what I got last time from Uptown Cheapskate, and I got a lot. I really think I wiped them out last time. That's why I didn't really have much. Uh, but the first thing I got from Red, White, and Blue is the Bulldogs. It's like a little baseball shirt, jacket kind of thing. Like I said, I don't know nothing about baseball, but I think it's like a little intramural team. Um, I really do hope it fit because it is a large and I'm an extra large. Um, we're going to see. It was only $3. I had to get it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, second thing I got was just this old NASCAR. What's this? Is? Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Y'all tell me who that is because I don't know. But I just thought it was something simple. Nothing on the back. Something simple. I think that was $2. This is my holy grail from red, white, and blue. Dog, I'm a big FSU fan. And we got the FSU starter jersey. You know, back in the day, they couldn't put the names on the back of the jersey. So, you know, that's all we could get. The numbers is kind of chipping off on the side right here. But it's all good. I think it give it, you know, like a little, like a little flavor. Got the old school Florida State logo right there. I miss that logo so much, man. But yeah, that's that's the one I'm happiest about. The next one, just another little T-shirt. It's got the old school Nickelodeon shows on it. This not, this might just be something I just wear around the house. You know, go to the grocery store. You know, two dollars. Why not? You know what I'm saying? This is another thing I'm happy I found. I'm real mad. I want to go get the white one that I seen because I didn't get it. I had it in the cart and I put it back. And I might have to go back and get that for real, for real. But this blue West Virginia Nike, I think it's, no, yeah, yeah, West Virginia. Uh, like I said, no name on the back. Number 10, I think it's real clean. I'm going I'm to rock that one. I think we want it down to the end of stuff we got from red, white, and blue. Actually, yeah, this is the last thing. It's the Orioles, like, Maryland alternate jersey. No name on the back, but there is another number 17 on it. I don't know if that's even a real player or not. But this going to be like, I'm going to use this just for like a little beach day, go to the pool, something like that, throw a little tank top, boom, throw this over, unbutton with the, with the chain on. You already know how we're going to rock with it. But... Something slight. Like I said, I think that was $5. Something like that. Last but not least, we got the stuff from the place we went to called Unique. That was our first time over there. And to be honest, like, it was a real big show. And we was in there for, like, two hours. And I only came out with two things because they really ain't had nothing. It was, like, old volunteer shirts and, like, stuff like that. Stuff don't nobody want. Um, but I did pick this up, and I am real happy about it. The N1 basketball jersey. I don't know where the hell I'm going to wear this at without getting flanked up. But um, I had to get it because I'm I, I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on. It's like, that's like the, man, wife ain't even know about that when I picked it up. She talking about something, what's that? I said, man, baby, you don't even know. We used to be in the Boys and Girls Club watching Hot Sauce. You know what I'm saying? Professor Cadillac. Man, I don't know about that. But yeah, last but not least. We got the 100 year anniversary Boston Red Sox. Nothing on the back. Um, I just thought it was something clean. Like I said, something I just wear to the stove. Uh, you know, you never know. Sometimes you don't even got, at least me, I don't be having real ideas for stuff when I pick it up. But when it's sitting in my closet and I go in there, I just make it shake. You know what I'm saying? I find me boom, boom, bring it together. I make it work. See, when you're a trendsetter, you can do that. Not a lot of people can do that. It's a real, real talent. One last thing before I leave y'all. I know I didn't get too much for up, Uptown Cheapskate uh, this time, but I want to show y'all real, real quick 
what I got last time. I'm going to do it real quick. We got the Chicago Cubs sweater with like the little zipper on the neckline. Tough. We got the Joe Flacco all stitched, all white jersey. Tough. We got the Rex Grossman Chicago Bears fully stitched. Tough. Uh, I picked this up. I don't even really care for this, but Los Angeles Angels. Slight work. This one of my favorites right here. Rich Bush, USC, Kim K Special. Tough. Denard Robinson. Y'all might not even remember Denard Robinson. Played for Jacksonville. Was sorry as hell. I had to get that one too. Michigan Jersey. Ray Rice. All embroidered. Baltimore Ravens. Had to. I picked this one up off eBay. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I picked this one up off eBay. But I'm a big Orlando Magic fan, so I had to get the Stevie franchise. I had to do that. Tough. And this is one I wore to Sneaker Con. I got a lot of compliments on it. Wifey got me this one, actually. The Iverson. AI. Football jersey. So, yeah, that's everything. I don't really know how long this video is going to be yet. I ain't finished uh, editing. But thank y'all for sitting in here with me. Uh, thank y'all for subscribing. Thank y'all for liking. Thank y'all for commenting. Uh, people keep asking me what this channel is really going to be based on. And to be honest with you, I don't really know. I think it's just going to be shoes and clothes. Because that's what usually all I do. Is I go thrifting and I buy shoes. So if y'all want to keep seeing that, let me know. If you don't, let me know. I take criticism very well. So don't think you're going to be hurting, you know, big bad feelings and nothing like that. Because, ah, you know what I'm saying? But again, I do want to thank y'all for tuning in. Please like, please subscribe, please share to your friends. Um, I love doing this, you know, regardless of how many likes and stuff I get. You know, it, it gives me something to do. And uh, it keeps my mind going. Because, hey, you know. But thank y'all. Y'all have a good one. Yeah.